So moving along, the next section is going to cover subreports. And we begin the creation of a subreport by selecting File, New. And then in the toolbar, you'll see you'll have your subreport elements. And then to the right, you'll have your data sets. So what I'm going to do is create a couple of different subreports from a couple different data sets. So I'm going to right click on my data set, select JDBC. And then I'm going to use the sales data connection and create a query. And this query, I'm just going to name it by region. OK, so for by region, I need comp and chord, so like a fact and dimensional table. And it's going to be by region, and it's going to be sum of line price. And let's join our tables together. And group by region and preview. So that's our first query. Now for the next query, it's going to be by plant. And what I'm going to do here, instead of using the query wizard, is just cut and paste or copy and paste that in there. And then just change region to plant LNG, which is the appropriate field name. Copy that and paste that there. Preview. And those are our plants. And then one more query. And we're going to make this one by store. And once again, paste in the query and change this to store name. And preview. So we have our three data sets now, by region, by plant, and by store. So when you create subreports, you're going to want to put them in the header section. So I'll use the report header. And on the left, you can see the toolbar and subreport element. I click that and drag it in. You'll get a message if you want to do an inline or banded. Banded is for the older type of subreports, for the legacy version of Report Designer. And inline is the newer version. That's the pixel perfect. So what we'll do is put in a subreport and align it. Select our structure tab, and you'll notice that there's a name section under attributes for the query. So what I can do is from the drop down is select the query. So the first thing we're going to do is by region. So that names the query to the subreport. Next, I can double click the subreport, and what this will do is bring me into a new tab. Switch over to your data tab, you'll see inherited data factories. And then you'll see the by region is already selected because we named the query. And then here is where we can drag and drop our columns. But in this section, I'm actually going to create a pie chart. So we grab our chart element, size accordingly, and then begin defining our chart. This will be pie. Our value column will be sum of line price. And our series by field will be region. Okay, and on the left for properties, what we can do here is change some background colors. So here's where you can select the different background colors. I'll just choose white. Um, if we want to make it 3D or not, if we want to show the border. Um, we also want to turn on labels, so let's do turn on labels. And that should be enough. And preview. Okay, so once we're satisfied with that sub-report, we can go back to the main report, and we can define another subreport. Select a line and a size accordingly. So when I double click this subreport, I want to show you something without selecting the name or the query. What will happen is when you double click, if you go to data, you have to double click to get the inherited data factories. But what it will show you is the different query names, but it doesn't expose any of the columns. So what you can do in this case is select the query and right click, select query. And what that will do is assign that particular query name to the subreport. So in this case, we're going to also create another pie chart. So I'm going to go back to the first subreport in design view, and we're going to control C. And then in the report header, control V. 
So we cut and paste those elements in, and then I double click this, and then I'm going to just change the series by field from region, and we'll remove that, and now we'll have plant. And we can do a preview. And now you can see you have your plant and your region. So the next step here is just to start aligning the particular uh, elements. So what I like to do here is we can go to page setup and we can reduce the margin on the left to 0.5 and on the right to 0.5 and the top to 0.5. Click align left and you can see the update happen. And then we could also just do some uh, regular sizing within either the elements themselves, such as these here, or within these elements here, if I want to move that over like, like that, so there's no overlap. So this is where the fine tuning can occur. So there's a couple of places that you can move it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define in the report footer, couple other subreports, and these could be the tabular reports. So let's grab this subreport here, select in line, put it right in the middle, grab another one in line, and this one will define the region query. And what I'm going to do here is just drag and drop region and sum. And uh, we'll make these Arial, 10. Set the formatting of the particular metric. And then we're done with that sub report. So when we go to the main report, if you just want to position a little bit underneath, and you get it such. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for the plants. This time I'm going to go to attributes and specify the query for plant. Double click the sub report. Go to data. Double click inherited data sets and there's my plants. And my line price. change some formatting, and change the format of the metric. Preview, and then position. Okay, so as the, sh the report's taking shape, so you can see that we have multiple queries um, and different reports laid out in this particular view. Okay, so I'm going to put one more subreport in the report footer. And I'll set that query to be by store. We'll double click that subreport. And then we'll put it in a bar chart. Category store, value, sum of line price. And series by value, store name. Okay, so we just got to go to the main report, control your positioning of the elements. And there you have it. Okay, so I haven't spent time tweaking that, and that's the additional time that you guys can, uh, basically aligning the items, changing the colors, and so forth. But I wanted to put the concept at least to show you what's involved in creating the subreports. Then the rest is really just tweaking the individual elements. All right, very good. And let's just publish this into PDF, give it a quick look. Let's reduce our size, and there's the PDF.